everyone welcome back to my channel my name is phyllis and here on my channel i share diys home decor goodwill thrift hauls and more and if this is your first time stopping by thank you and please consider subscribing if you like what you see give it a thumbs up and i would love to read your comments and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family in today's video i am participating in a look for less challenge which is being hosted by yami the latino next door and her co-host for the month of october is Lisa Burningham. These young ladies have an amazing channel. I love the different things that they show and share with us. They ask that we create a high-end decor piece and share it side by side of what we created. And I will make sure that I have the link to these young ladies channels along with the participants playlists so that you can view everyone's creations. Now, if you're interested in seeing what I created, then just keep watching then let's get started i purchased this vase from a thrift store for seven dollars and 99 cents and i went online and i found this lamp um this is sold by overstock.com for 111 dollars 36 cents and that's the sale price the regular price is 164 dollars and this is as you can see a jeffrey 28 inch marble metal lamp I already had the shade and I already had the paint on hand from last month's Look For Less Challenge that I used. I will be displaying that in a side-by-side -side at the end and you will see what that is. So here you'll see I've already spray painted the vase. I had this paint left over from last month's Look For Less Challenge and I used the rest of what was in this can spray painting the vase on all sides white. And once it dried, I brought it in and I measured to see how high I wanted the gold to be. The first measurement length I did three inch and then I saw that was a little bit too short. Here you see I measure it. And then just as a side note, if you decide to ever do something like this, don't use red ink because it just, um, when I put it with the gold paint, it's hard to cover it. It bleeds through. And I also found out that the gold bleeds through the white too as well. They did that on my last month's high-end look for less challenge. But here I'm just using the level to make sure that the line is straight all the way around the vase. And here I created it all the way around. Again, this is just at three inch. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will make it, I believe, four, four and a half or five inch. And here is the gold leaf paint that I used last month and I had some left just enough to uh, finish this sorry for the blurriness but I purchased that from Walmart I mean not Walmart from Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description box below it is also in the look for less challenge and I'll leave that link below too as well if you're interested in seeing how I created that if you have not already seen that video and here again I'm using a sponge I'm not home um, in Atlanta. I'm here in Florida at my daughter's home. So I'm using whatever she had around the house. So I took an old sponge. She had a bunch of them. I just took an old sponge and cut a piece of it to dip in the ink and um, paint the gold leafing, liquid leaf onto the vase. And if you can see here how again, how it the white just bleeds through. It did the same thing on the bowl that I created last month, but I did several coats and here it's finished. And I decided to do the neck because as you look on the inspiration, the neck of the lamp is gold. You will see this once I put the shade on, but at the end, I'm gonna show you two ways that you can use this lamp. I chose the latter part because I love what it looks like. But here again, I painted the neck and just the base of the vase and here it is all completed again i already had the shade on hand and here it's just sitting on the um on a plastic bottle i believe that my daughter had where i could put a push light and the light would just illuminate through the plastic bottle you will see that i will also be changing that out and i glued a dollar tree cylinder round vase onto it and I used hot glue, nothing permanent, because my last choice of how I displayed this 
I loved the most. Again, it's sitting on a plastic cylinder face and I will give you an up close visual of what it looks like on the top. Okay, you can see the plastic um, bottle under there. And it's a plastic bottle to drink of, not, not a Coke or Pepsi bottle. But it's a plastic bottle which you put water in and drink if you go walking or exercising. I took the top off because it's a perfect fit for the push lights that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And you can also order it from Amazon. But this is a push light that she had on hand. And when you turn it on, you turn the lights off, I'll show you that too. It doesn't give a brightness, but it is a good night light. And these are just different visual side views and front views of the lamp. Now coming up, I'm getting ready to show you what it looks like um, at night. And again, this is the push light. I have it just glued to the, not glued, but sitting on top of the bottle. And then I just set the lamp on it. Now, again, this is not the way that I chose to do it. Again, I'm not home, so I'm using what my daughter has in her place. I purchased the vase while I was in Jacksonville, Florida from a thrift store. And here it is with the Dollar Tree cylinder vase. I used glue gun glue stick and that's why i'm showing you tilting it showing you how it's on there it's not on there permanent because the glue when it's adhered to ceramic and glass it doesn't stay permanent unless you do e6000 and here i also glued the push light and when you sit it on top of the vase it gives a slight illumination where it could work as a night light and you will see that coming up here in just a second And right here, I turned the lights off and it's a nice little night light. But my favorite way of using it is this way. This is a diffuser where you put essential oils in it. She purchased this from Walmart some time ago. And the hole at the top of the shade is perfect for the hole at the top of the diffuser. You can see where the steam or, yeah, the steam, I guess, comes through and it gives off any kind of oil you put in it gives off a beautiful scent so I call this my night light diffuser and this is the look for less challenge from September where I use the same spray paint and gold paint and again if you're interested in seeing that if you have not seen that I'll leave a link to that in the description box below And here I just put some greenery in the bowl and just kind of style it. But I love the way my lamp came out. And here it is at night. Um, we'll be coming up showing you how the light just changed different colors. So this is the way that I chose to use it. Here I'm showing you again how the hole is just a perfect size to sit on the hole in the diffuser. And how the steam just comes up and it gives off a beautiful scent depending on the essential oils that you choose to put in the diffuser and it sits perfectly on the diffuser doesn't rock or move or anything and i would not put a um, finial on top of this because i just want the steam to come through i just love the scent and soon um in a few seconds it'll be coming up showing you what it right now the lights are on and the living room but I'm going to turn the lights out and you'll see the different colors that has changed it goes from blue to green to purple right here and it is so pretty and so calming and so soothing as well as the scent that is coming from the diffuser I think this turned out to be very nice my look for less I only paid $7.99 for the base because I already had the shade on hand. I already had the paint from last month's Look For Less Challenge. And I like the way it looks very close to the high-end lamp, which was $111.36 on sale. The original price is $164.
and I think it came out nice. Again, here is the before, when it was just a vase, and now, side by side. The high inspiration, $111.36. My DIY dupe, $7.99. And I wanna thank you all for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.